Hundred years ago, people had light, easy breathing pattern. Breath holding time was 40-60 seconds. That means a lot of oxygen in the body. So these people would go to sleep and fall asleep in less than one minute. Their sleep time was very short, only about five hours. So I put here five hours of sleep. Five hours. Sleep was very efficient. People did not wake up at night. And when they woke up in the morning, they had breath holding time that was higher than before. So when people are healthy, their breath holding time in the morning is better. They feel great in the morning. They are refreshed. They are full of energy. They don't need coffee or sugar to boost the energy up. Now, that was the case 100 years ago. If you think about modern people, breath holding time, index of oxygenation is less. About 20-25 in healthy people. In sick people, it's even less. So, what happens with the sleep right now? People right now on the West sleep about seven and a half hours. So I put here seven and a half hours. And when they go to sleep, they spend maybe five, 10, 15 minutes to fall asleep. Because they have thoughts. What happens next, they can wake up at night. And what happens always with virtually all people, that in the morning breath holding time is less. They have problems in the morning. Breath holding time is short and people experience various symptoms. Maybe nose is blocked, maybe they have headache, depression, various negative moods. Now we can ask how it is possible that people, just because of heavy breathing, quality of sleep is not as good as before. Well, we need to ask another question. Why do we need sleep? We need sleep probably for two reasons. One reason is to have rest for our brain and also we need relaxation rest for our muscle. Then we can think about the following question. What is going on with the brain when our breathing is heavy? Well, we know from physiology section that our brain gets less oxygen due to the water effect, less blood supply since CO2 is vasodilator. So less oxygen, less blood supply, perfusion of the brain. In addition to that, brain has so-called spontaneous and asynchronous firing. That means all of the time there are certain areas of the brain which can get excited, inflamed in a way, and they produce their own signals interfering with normal work of our nervous system. So it makes sense then that sick people, they process much more information during the day. It's not only reality we need to analyze. We need to analyze also the own thinking created accidentally just due to heavy breathing. So normally then it takes more time for the brain to rest during sleep of modern man. Now what happens with muscles? Well, we, when people have 40, 60 second breath holding time, we are naturally relaxed. We have standing posture, we like standing throughout the day and the muscles relax. Spine is straight, shoulders are wide, chin is up. This is the normal posture. Now when people hyperventilate, since CO2 is relaxant of muscles, so we naturally adopt so-called offensive defensive or aggressive defensive posture. So we are more tense, hence we need more time to sleep. And we can observe the same tendency in severely sick people who are in hospitals, critical care, in wards of the hospital. We have about 5, 7, 10 second breath holding time. Between 0 and 10, as Russian doctors, as Dr. Butega was telling to us, this is a time when people fight with death. And at these moments of time, people sleep about 10, 12 hours per day. So it's much longer time. And we can ask why again, because in many cases, if we think about even severe conditions like cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and other complications of diseases, there are no pathogens which directly affect, for example, quality of sleep. So how, that, how does it work? Again, through breathing. So these sick people breathe very heavy, up to five times more breathing than the norm. And index of oxygenation is very short. Breath holding time is only five seconds. So these people sleep usually much longer, 10, 11, 12 hours or even more. Why? Because brain is overexcited. They can't focus. If they try reading, for example, a book or a paragraph from a newspaper, they cannot focus. They read the last sentence, they forget the first one. And the mind, when they go to sleep, it's like a Christmas tree. So the time thoughts going on, they cannot fall asleep maybe for half an hour, one hour. They can wake up at night for one hour, they cannot fall asleep again. In the morning, these people often experience attacks, as we just discussed before, heart attacks, asthma attacks, epilepsy attacks, other acute episodes of their illnesses. So we can see here that heavy breathing for most people would result in worse quality of sleep. Not all people are affected in the equal degree, but for more than half of people, there would be very strong tendency to have poor quality of sleep with heavy breathing. Now we can also think about exceptionally healthy people. For example, Hatha Yoga Master. These people who breathe very, very light, like up here. So we have only 
2 liters per minute of breathing, that means about 1% of maximum capacity. It means almost no breathing at all. But these people have 3 minutes of breath holding time. Very high time, a lot of oxygen. Now, if you are going to learn the Buteyka method, or use, for example, some other techniques, Hatha Yoga, Pranayama, and get this high breath holding time, and this type of breathing pattern, when you take small inhale, and then you have long, relaxed exhale for 5, 7, 10 seconds, you would be sleeping only as Russian studies found, as Hatha Yoga studies found. Only two hours. It was the norm. I found this norm when I studied Hatha Yoga books long time ago. The books were written 100, 200, 300 years ago. And they noticed already at those times that those Hatha Yoga masters who got three minutes breath holding time were sleeping only for two hours. And Russian doctors found exactly the same value. When people get up to two, three minutes breath holding time, Dr. Buteyka himself was an example. And he trained many doctors also to get up to there. We were sleeping only two hours a day without trying. It could be natural sleep to have only this small amount. And why does it take place? We can also think about qualities of CO2 again. Because for this situation, when people breathe even less than the medical norm, there would be a little bit higher concentration CO2 in the body than the medical norm. Hence, what would happen, mind would be totally focused on reality only. There would be no spontaneous or asynchronous thoughts or ideas in the mind. So the brain would be analyzing only what is, exists in reality. And of course, muscles would be very relaxed, because at this state, people would be able to rest just during the day, just having correct posture, reflective attitude towards the universe and what is going on around. 